I'm just trying to think what the best thing would be to do. <sighs> Follow the bridle path. So this is when you need someone to... So you carried on round there. There's that big path there. You can go on over and I didn't do the other side, did I? Follow that down and we'll see what happens. Right, let's do the door. Right then. Something's making its way up here. There's two paths. There's one there and there's one going up there. There's the sign. There. Not very clear, but it's pointing down. So I presume... This is where it gets awkward, isn't it, when there's a track like this come here with their felling and there's a sign going that way. Is there a, well, have a look on the other side of the pole. No. Looks like I've got to go down. I might join a path, you never know. It's all. This is all what it's about in the beginning and quite often in the beginning when I'm exploring I, I do a lot of not wasted time. It's good to know everywhere. Look at that, how that's carved. The big wheels and whatever that is, has carved that out. Isn't it? There's a sign there, see? You wouldn't know there was a place there though. Look, it's just a hole. The giant tractor thing's been here. Look! Right, well, I'm just going to go down. There seems to be a bit of a track down here, so we'll follow this. But I know I'm going back a different way. That's the plan. But this is not easy to walk on, actually. <laughs> I imagine, you imagine if it rained, this would be one big sludgy, muddy track wouldn't it and, and these troughs would fill up the water so in many ways I've picked the right time they're just carving their way through the wood to get to the ash dieback aren't they I'm just hoping there's a sign when I get down here I haven't met anyone yet to ask for advice no more little uh, plaques either to say oh this is where you are now nothing and I think the lookout was that bench that I came across and the structured wall. I think that was the lookout. There might be more to it, which I can explore on other occasions. This is just a recce today. And I just wanted the... I know the way back the other way, going up through Dolbury Warren or going up to the hill for it. I've never done this bit. So, and here we've got, this is, looks like a new bit they've carved out. And I don't want to go down there. I'm just looking for signs. See? I'm, I'm just wondering what that plaque is down there. I might just go and have a look at, there's a plaque down there, just to get my bearings a minute. There's no, not one, you know, there was an initial sign to Burrington, right? There was an initial sign and then it disappeared. Now someone like that bloke, he's like me in my wood, I know it backwards and every little track more or less. There, I don't know it all. But you know, the main backbones and several small tracks. I don't want, I know I don't want to go down that way. So that'll take me down <coughs> onto a main mink road so I don't want to do I just want to look at this plaque what does it say public footpath 
Public footpath. What's that say? Public footpath only. Well, where to? It's pointing that way, isn't it? The little building there, look. I expect that bloke knows the ins and outs of this place on the back of his hand, doesn't it? Ah. That's what that looks like. Could have been an old kiln or something, look. That old structure there. This is a bit of a ruin here, isn't it? Bet this isn't on the map. I'll take some pictures in a minute. Yeah, I was up by the gate there. There's a ruin here. Ruins. I'm going to turn off a minute. Right, just missed somebody. <laughs> and uh, they were up there, they were going through the gate that I was at earlier. There's another building here, look. I keep finding these ruins. There's an old ruin here. I'm going to go down there in a minute. I don't know where else to go, really. Look at this old ruin. Some sort of tower. going to be in a kiln as well. It's full of them, uh, this place. Another wall up there. Right, take some pictures, Shell. Well, that looked like some sort of tower. I don't think it's on the map. I don't know. I don't know. This could be the lookout. Instincts take, taking me along, everyone. Instincts. I'm getting hot now. I'm going to have to take my, my Mac off in a minute. It's getting hot with it on. You know, clammy. Like I say, it'd take a few visits to get your bearings. Um, I feel that this is the right direction I'm going because um, to go down too soon, it could take me out on a main road. This is all good though, because this is all exploring. You know, this is what it's all about. I was supposed to have checked the watch, wasn't I? Yeah, not to worry. It's quite dark here. Look at this old you. Lots of old yous. Keeping out the evil spirits, eh? Keep me safe, old you. Keep me safe. I don't know where I am. This could be somebody's garden. When you start seeing rhododendrons, you think, oh. And then you think, oh God, the big black Dobermans are going to get me or something like that, you know. I've got no idea where I'm going. I just missed somebody. Just missed them. I could have asked them. You know, I just missed somebody. Right, over and out again. There's a lots of short videos I'm going to join together. So I'm carrying on, heading for Burrington. There's been hardly any signs. There is, wasn't a sign for me to come down here. And this does look like a bit of a landscape garden, if you ask me. But, uh, and it could be. But it looks like a path. 
there might be a sign at the other end. Right, over and out. I want you to take right, a picture. Right, we're carrying on, folks, into this dark, overgrown pathway. I met a young man. Well, I don't know how young he was. He's young as far as I'm concerned. He was all zipped up with his jacket. He didn't seem to know exactly where he was. Um, but he did tell me to keep going in Barrington's down here. But he didn't know, really. He was just exploring. Um, basically, I think I'm just going round the hill fort. And it's further than I thought. I don't, I hope I haven't missed the sound. It's really hard to know. You can't see nothing. Do you know what I mean? You, this is why I left early. I thought, when you're exploring, everything seems to take a long time, doesn't it? Because what it is, you're busy, it, you're, you're, all your senses are raised. Uh, like, I'm like in a jungle here. It's dark, it's overgrown, you can't see nothing. I can't see no town, I can hear a road. And I just feel I'm walking around the hill for it. And in a minute there should be a turn in to take me to the what's called the link. I keep thinking I've got there, then I have to go on again. But it was nice to bump into somebody who didn't know where they were going either. But I missed the woman with the dog. Now she was obviously doing a loop. Which meant when I got to that gate a way back, I could carry on up and round. That's what that meant. Um, but anyway, I don't mind doing all this. It's probably just skirting the hill for it, basically, the bottom of it. Bound to come out in a minute on the track that will take me into the village. I won't be coming back this way, by the way. No, I've got other plans to come back. I'll either walk through Robert Warren and head for Winscombe, or I might go up the hill for it and head for Sanford. That's plan B and A together. But I'm glad I've done this. I'm not saying I won't do it again. There's bound to be another gate or something in a minute. We're bound to link up with the path going down a minute. He said, yeah, it takes you to Burrington. He did look vague, though, when I asked him. He still looked a bit vague. Well, like, as if he didn't know what Burrington was. Um, I feel it's down there. That's what I feel. But you can't see, look. It's exciting though, folks, isn't it? I love it. I love exploring. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an, an explorer and or a journalist. When I was 11 and I was in, in one of our classes, we had to say, we had to write, I wish I had those, those little notes. I might have them, I might have them actually. We have to say what we want to be when we grow up. I wanted to be a journalist and an explorer. And in a strange way, okay, I'm not in the Borneo jungle or anywhere. I'm glad I ain't. Mind you, you don't know what lurks in these sort of woods, do you? You know what I mean? I'm hoping there's a turn in soon. Otherwise I could end up going round in bloody circles, couldn't I? Isn't what I mean?